Hello everybody, this is Robbie, and today we are back with my childhood stories. And, yeah, last time we, we figured out, I figured out, that this book was absolutely worse than the previous one. You know, the first one. And when your first thing is better than your second thing, you know something went wrong. But then again, something went wrong for my first story too. And that was the story itself. And it's looking like the same things are happening with this one, but worse. So, yeah. When we last left off, we were in the wimpy world. Old. Oh, and, yeah, basically, I'm trying to kind of find out where I was. So, hold up. Okay, figured out where we were. We were just at the part where I ripped off the last straw. So, yeah. <clears throat> but before we begin, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified about my latest videos. And if you like this video, hit the like button and comment about what you think about this book. And with all that out of the way, let's begin. So, basically, it's like, Mr. So, basically, there's the say, Mr. Lish said, That is not what I mean. I mean... Yeah, that is it. Duh. Anywho, so, so Mr. Lich told us I meant get back there. Oh, that's true. You see, it's different because we don't suffer. We just get told off. Totally not plagiarism. I just avoided a lawsuit for some reason. Although I don't think that Jeff Kinney would sue an, uh, a 15-year-old child person for something that he did when he was a child. So, here's the picture. Uh, hold on. Sorry, hold on. So, so, sorry, just experimenting with something. Apparently, when I put the book up, it goes into 60 FPS mode, so that's weird. So, but we thought to run, so we ran to the woods, but we got back to kicking balls. Uh, I was a child. My innocence was pure back then. And guess what? I kicked it to outer space. Or into the word what, because... That looks like that. Yeah. Well, b b well, b it came down and bonked Mr. Lich in the head, and I mean the top part. What? What do you mean by the top part? Huh? What other part is there? It's like, oh, no. <clears throat> it's like, I got kicked in the head. Oh, no, 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 not the top part. I meant the cheek part of the head. Or the forehead part of the head. Yeah, that part. Not the top part. This part. Needed clarification. And here's the bubble bunk. Oof. <clears throat> <clears throat> there were doctors and ambulances. And get the and get this. He they made Mr. Lich feel better. We made a run for it. Ah yes, because instead of supporting the poor guy, even when he just got a concussion, run for the hills! Ah, ah, ah god 
damn it. And yeah, I think he'd be pretty confused too. At least I'd be confused. It was like, it's like, wait, why are you running? I, I just got a concussion. Ow, what the fuck? Holy shit, you guys. What the fuck? Okay, Monday, the newspaper came, and here is what it said. The Daily Herald. Soccer game canceled. Robbie Shields. That's me. As a child. Blame my child self for what happens. Just kicked a ball to outer space. The ball made it one trillion nine hundred ninety nine billion nine hundred ninety nine million nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine miles away from the sun. Just say two trillion. Why, why did you have to do? Why did you have to go nine hundred ninety nine billion nine hundred ninety nine? Nah. What? That ball was negative one million degrees Fahrenheit. Said Mister Litch. So it should have froze you in a fucking instant. But it didn't because yes. Sorry, sorry, something distracted me. Uh, moving on, um... Soon, everyone left the game, which canceled the game <laughs> until they ordered a new coach. I'm sorry, I was laughing at the whole... Oh, everyone left the game, which canceled the game. Oh, really? I didn't know that could happen when everyone just up and leaves. I... Why? Also, yeah, we can apparently just... Order a coach on thisdoesnotexist.com. Order it now for $9.99 per coach. For some reason. Actually, can you actually do that? It'd be pretty fucked up if you could. And here is the picture of it all. In the glorious 60 frames per second that spontaneously happens whenever I hold it up. Oh, oh, never mind, it's faltering. Oh wait, it's back for some reason. I don't know why, it just is. I ran to a panic. I couldn't believe I was a future criminal. Uh, what? Ah, because apparently I'm a future criminal for kicking a fucking ball. Because that's how the world works. You do one thing wrong, and all of a sudden, you're going to jail, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, now's probably the time to warn you that this is not for children. If it wasn't obvious enough. Tuesday. Well, Dad has been giving me phone calls. He said it would be good if I was in prison. I hung up on Dad. What the f- what the hell? Ah, uh, yes, because my dad is the type of guy who just wants to see his child go to jail? At least in the book. That's not... No, not really. If you do... Also, this is, uh, not a phone. This is, a uh, fat letter T with some words on it. That's what it is. And from the looks of it, I tried scribbling it. If if you do something bad, the police will give you a fine. Uh, we Thank you for explaining how the freaking police work, man! I never knew! Or at least you gave us an oversimplified version of it. Gee, like, basically, this is like a child saying, Police catch criminals who do bad shit. Or a child saying bad things, basically. Because that's what it is! I wrote this as a child, and it's basically oversimplified. And it's just so weird. Also, this house, man. This house needs to go through serious reconstruction if that is what it looks like. Because goddamn, that looks weird. 
Yeah, what are those stairs? What is that? Oh, and I think it's a $30, $130 fine for kicking a fucking ball. This world in my journal is messed up. But if you do it wrong a second time, that is when you go to prison. <laughs> because when you kick a ball wrong um, um, twice, you're going to jail, I guess. Uh, although, this prison, I, that is the single worst prison in a book I have ever seen. It looks like you could just walk through the bars, although you probably entered a scribbled wasteland because the drawing is horrible. Anyway, I knew that the police could come when I get to college. What? What does that mean? What is it like, oh, the police are going to be on your tail when you go to college? Or you're going to get arrested when you go to college? What? Okay, Wednesday. Well, it's just like I feared. Again with using that same line line from Last Straw. Jesus, I like to rip off from Last Straw and Cabin Fever the most. Although then again, the title is ripping off of Roderick Rules' title with Bad Weather Rules, so there's that. When we had music, I looked out the door. I saw rain. Oh no, not water that's falling from the sky. Somebody save me. And this drawing, it just looks like I started to draw droplets, but then gave up and draw lines. Because I think that's exactly what it is. Also, <laughs> this school, it just looks like a freaking blob. I don't know, it just... I, know, I can't quite pinpoint what it looks like. Blob or something. We watched this robotic band. I don't know why that was emphasized. This, except with no singing. What? It's like, how did we go from, oh no, rain, do anyway, we watched this band. No transition. No transition. Also, this band. God, what? Oh, yeah. So I'm smiling at this morphed weirdness. I think those are supposed to be notes there. I can kind of see that. Um, yeah, I can kind of see the notes. But it just kind of looks like a bunch of scribbles. Like I said in my previous diary, I'm not going person E. What? I'm not a sign. A si I'm. Not a singing, a singing person. I'm not a singing person. Sorry, the handwriting was just so bad that I couldn't get it. And moment. In art, I had to finish my flower, so it wasn't much fun than in music class. Then why mention it? Also, I think this is when I tried to draw hands. Yeah, you can see where that went. But again, floor, chair, table, progress. Remember how I said that the teacher will think of punishments? Well, luckily, she was joking. O okay, I don't remember that being mentioned ever, but... <sighs> Whatever. And here's the teacher in the car, on the road, thinking of punishments. The good news is, this looks more like a road. And that's more like a truck. The bad news is, this book is not over yet. To Thursday. Well, today I got sent to Anonymous's office. <laughs> you know you're drawing, you get... And it's weird when you have to label the mustache. Not even joking. That is a mustache on the principal, and yet I had to label it. Great. When I got home, I didn't tell mom. 
<clears throat> what the? F it's like, what happened? We had a play, and then. Okay. All right. So again, this is fine. Again, the the house looks deformed. In fact, it doesn't even look like a house anymore. It just looks like a bunch of weird shapes that are trying to, and they're very hardest to look like a house. House, and I'm about to go down these hell hole stairs. Mom told me we would go to school to see me, huh? But when we got there, it was closed. Yeah. And my feet stuck through the car. Oh no, that could be more of a plot than this. And the road is looking less like a road now. Great. Wonderful progress, kind of undone. But whatever, the car looks more like a car. Alright, so progress earned again? I told her we practiced the play, but mom told me it wasn't true. Emphasis is weird in this. Friday, I got punished, which was to sleep in a different place. That wasn't a punishment at all. But they moved the bed to Anonymous's room. I knew that I would be sleeping near Greg's older brother, Roderick. He always wakes you up at midnight. Yeah, he always wakes you up at midnight and then and then commits freaking plagiarism. No joke. That thing is a ripoff is basically the same thing as his dungeon as the Dungeons and Dragons joke in the second book. I guess I just realized wait a minute, I seem to be ripping off last straw cabin fever. A bunch. How about we rip off something else? Mom told me that I will be with Roderick. On the bus, Roderick sat next to me and said, <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. This conversation is so weird. So on the bus, Roderick sat next to me and said, you have bad books. Also, I tried to give him these thick eyebrows like in the original book. They look more like bubbles, and the bus doesn't look like a bus, and that's supposed to be a floor, but the road looks good. And then that made me mad. I told him they aren't bad, but I wasn't able to tell him because he mysteriously disappeared, and the bus started to drop. And the bus started to collapse because of the poor drawing skills at play. When we got to school, Roderick told me, You are a jerk. <laughs> These are the worst insults ever, and yet they're so offensive, man. <laughs> so mean. <laughs> Oh boy. So basically, it's like, you are a dork in this weird road thing. When we got into school, Roderick said, A ghost is here. I was, I was spook, really spooked, but Roderick told me people are in ghost costumes. On morning work, I told him. You were just teasing me, and he said that's right. <laughs> I'm not laughing because the jokes are good. I'm laughing because it's so weird and just so why. <laughs> Who would ever be like this? Then when we did the Pledge of Allegiance, Roderick said, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the Federal States of America. It's United States. Forget it. <laughs> oh no, he made an error when he was pledging allegiance. 
Wow, it's so offensive and mean. <laughs> Damn, I had a really short temper back then, didn't I? Just blowing off the handle or whenever anyone does anything bad. And here's the drawing. So the pledge was really awkward because someone said it wrong. So far, Roderick is making a permanent situation. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Permanent situation? Huh? What, what? Is he gluing himself to the floor with super glue or something? On language, Roderick wrote on the board, Robbie is a dork. A dork! Oh, no! <laughs> Oh my god, I can't! I can't! <laughs> Why? I definitely seem to be nailing the part where Roderick is mean, but I just made him this weird mean. It's like, oh my god, Robbie's a doofus and a dawn head or freaking fracking frick. <laughs> okay, that was weirder than anything I put in that book. Okay, okay, yeah, I'm also the board thing. Look at this. So he ruined language too. How could he ruin language? Why? And on reading, Roderick tore my pages. Okay, we're nailing that. Yeah, see, he's ripping them up. <laughs> So me and Roger weren't getting along. Oh, really? I didn't know that from the fact that you wrote about him and, like, and as this big jerk. Oh my God! Thank you for telling us that he would, that you and and him weren't getting along. I would have never thought about that otherwise. But when we did worksheets, Roger wrinkled it. <laughs> Then Roderick threw the wrapped paper in the trash. <laughs> School. No, you didn't. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, my God. So Roderick is making reading bad also. Well, that explains the poor grammar. At snack time, Roderick drank 19.9% of my juice. Oh no, not 19.9%. Whatever will you do, it's the end of the world. Also, I don't think that's juice. I think that's just your arms. So I had snack ruin. Luckily, I got grapes. <laughs> okay, great, but morning recess was a bust. Roderick said no playing. And because apparently, some kid on the playground can tell everybody what to do. Because that's how this works, guys. I shoved Roderick. <laughs> okay, well, I've reached my limit. <clears throat> So, Roderick made me get my legs a bit cramped. <laughs> yeah, because I don't feel remorse for sho actually shoving someone. Oh man, my legs are cramped. Darn. So, on Ryder's workshop, Roderick locked a door. You know, with nonsense glue. Fucking whatever. And he whipped up the letter and threw it in the trash. Okay, first of all, what letter? And second of all, what is this drawing? I have no idea what this is. Someone please tell me what it's supposed to be. Look at this. <clears throat> then he wrote on a new paper. Dear jerk, 
Robbie is a dork, dork from Roderick. Dork. Is dork his only insult? Like, is it the only thing he could come up with? He isn't really being creative. I Like, I'd personally go with Knuckle McSpazitron or... Or a stupid nail head. And, or idiot, just idiot. Or a guy with the worst drawing skills in the world when he was a child. Because that's what this is. And he wrote on the back, Dear Robbie, make sure to change your diaper when you get home. Okay, now I'm take plagiarizing a joke from Ugly Truth. So I guess I'm not very creative. I guess I must find Roderick kind of relatable then. So Roderick ruined math and writer's workshop too. He scribbled out every single thing and put Robbie is a dork. So like he just really committed to that insult, man. It's like he just he said it once and then he's like, oh, that was really good. And just kind of stuck with it because and now it's the only thing he's got in his brain. He can't get come up with anything else like loser or uh, or idiot or stupid and or or anti disestablishmentarianism. What? Oh, huh, you don't even know what that means, you unintelligent nerd. Or something like that, basically. Audrey ruined math. I already said that already, and somehow he threw my journal away. You know, the journal. The, you know, the journal that looks more like a TV than a journal. He just yeeted it away. Great. Rat, but when he, we went through wash hands, Roger took a bucket and filled it up all the way. Okay. That's, wait. <laughs> Faucet. That faucet looks so weird. Why? Then Roderick dumped the water on me. How could I not see this coming in the book? It's like, I'm filling a bucket. Nothing suspicious here. <laughs> and at lunch, Roderick stole the stuff. First of all, look how small I wrote stuff. You know, the stuff. And second of all, that's the vaguest thing ever. He just stole some stuff. We don't know what it is. Although then again, it looks more like he stole a bunch of a, a stack of rocks and he's going to eat them. Also, when will this end? When will this whole segment on Roderick's the meanest little bitch end? Then Roger got 16 more stuffs, I guess, and dumped them on us. Looks more like he threw a, like, dumped a gun on you or something. That's kind of what that looks like. I don't know. So he ruined lunch. But at recess, again, Roger poured water on the equipment. Great, more of that. Yeah, that's also, that's the equipment, guys. You can't even tell what it is. It's so weird. He told us to try it out, but, but our butts were wet. So I grumbled. Oh, the, no, wait, I grabbed the towel to dry us and the slide. There we go. Finally beat him. I guess, I don't know, he looks surprised, like, you actually had the mental capacity to get a towel and dry yourselves off? I didn't think so, considering you drew the worst stuff in the freak- Okay, I'm being a bit too harsh, aren't I? At library, Roderick said, Um, 
your library Lord. So if the library's T-Tord? T -t I don't know what it says. Just scrambled a bunch of words together and then that's it, I guess. We had to get workers to rebuild the library. Oh wait! Your library's destroyed! Or detoured, I guess. So, how do you get work On science, why do you do Foxy in the trash? Who the hell is Foxy? And we're never gonna know who he is, because he's in the freaking trash now, so we're never gonna see him again. And I don't think we ever do. I said, who is this? Who is this person? Who what is this? I'm confused. I accidentally set off the, of the fire alarm, and we went out the door. We all, you know, the door. This is the door. Nothing else. We all ran to the playground and lined up. The principal told us to stay lined up, but the fire trucks came and saw hard and saw hard, hot fire. Okay. Where where's the fire? No wait. And saw no fire. That's not a fire truck. Where's the sirens? Where's the ladder? And that doesn't look like a hose. That looks like a freaking telescope. Why do we make these things look like telescopes? When we got back inside, the principal announced, whoever set off the fire alarm again will be suspended. So please turn yourselves in, ripping things off from ugly truth now. Oh, here is the picture, guys. I actually managed to fit the text next in the bubble. Saturday. I told mom that Roger ruined my day. But mom told me it was a punishment for me. Yeah, because that's how parents react when there's a, a freaking bully who ruins your entire day. It's like, mommy, mommy, this bully, he, he ruined my day. Oh, that's your punishment. And that's your punishment. You're just going to have to deal with it. Mommy, why? Because that's your punishment for some insane reason. I'm the best parent. Last night, Roger had thrown a party and ruined the house. And I'm not going in that story. Yeah, we're not ripping off that story. We've already gone low enough already. Roger poured water near all the outside doors and locked them. Why? <sighs> <clears throat> so now we aren't going anywhere. On the one hand, we won't have school. Wait, what? Okay, first of all, if he locked all the outside doors, didn't he lock him? Didn't Roderick lock himself out of the house? It's like when out, so he needs to unlock one of the doors. Second, he just poured water. Out the out, and he just poured some water. What, you think they're gonna cancel school because someone grabbed a bucket of water and poured it out the window? That's so stupid! Okay, next step. On the other hand, the whole state isn't going out of the door! Ah, yes, because apparently we don't have any keys to unlock a door. You know, keys where you take one, insert it, and turn it, and then the door is unlocked. Don't have any of those, apparently. In, nah, we just rely on the old doorknob locker. Perfect. Oh, boy. I said to mom, Roderick poured water on the uh, outside doors. It's like, what? Is the entire state afraid of getting their shoes wet? <laughs> well, Sunday. Well, Roderick is a tough one. He knocked the TV down and he almost busted the TV. Oh, damn, man. Duh! Why is he living with us? Shouldn't we? Shouldn't someone be calling the cops? He could be a dangerous threat. 
that pat that push canceled some of Xbox 360. What? It's like what? What? It's like someone pushed the TV down and that canceled Xbox 60 games. What the what the hell is happening? It canceled Xbox Live Gold. It also canceled downloading process. Oh, so I knew that I would. Oh wait, sorry. Look at that. Look at this. Look at the controller. That looks like a bat, a, a deformed bat on the left, on the right, on the left side. And it's like, sorry, no downloading. Da -ba -da -ba -da. On a rectangle. <laughs> So I knew that I would have to live with the games I had. So I knew that um, the games I had, I hate. But um, Roderick wasn't the only kid who knocked our TV down. Last year, I was playing Just Dance 3 demo, and I made a move that knocked the TV down. Oh, now this is actually a true story. We're actually learning something about me in this nonsensical book. But then again, how could you learn anything in, by just the drawings alone? It looks like I pushed a freaking triangle down. <clears throat> I pulled the T on the TV to set it back up, but it was too heavy and deformed. It was too deformed for me to pull back up, according to this drawing. It's a true story if you don't count on the drawings. I told mom about the situation. Mom sent me to my room. So now I'm not going to touch the TV. Me? Oh no! No way! What the hell? So Roderick got sent to his room. After the timeout was over, Mom took Roderick's phone. His... Okay, FINALLY SOME PUNISHMENT! There we go. That's the phone. His punishment was now calling his FRIENDS! But Roderick was disappointed. Yeah. What, you think he'd be like, YAY! I'm going to have to call my friends anymore! Yippee! Stomp, stomp. And, well, I think we are going to end it off here. Here. See you all next time for some more of my second childhood story, which is worse than the first one. Bye-bye. <sighs>